you to bring you a balanced workout. So what is balance? Balance is your ability to maintain an upright position or on your feet while your body is moving or your body is not moving. So why is balance important? Balance is important because in sports and other physical activities, you are constantly changing speeds and changing directions. Your ability to remain upright or on your feet is going to be critical in your ability to quickly and properly perform the skills needed for you to be successful. During the workout today, we're going to have six exercises. We're going to have three rounds total. You'll perform the exercise for 20 seconds and then you'll get a 20 second rest. We're going to focus on the three planes of movement. When our bodies move, we move in three different planes. The frontal plane, which divides our body from front to back. The sagittal plane, which divides our body from left to right. And the transverse plane, which divides our body from the upper part to the lower part. The transverse plane is also plays a critical role in any sort of rotational activity that we do today. So while we are balancing on one leg, our opposite or our off leg will be moving in one of those three planes of movement. I'm going to demonstrate those exercises for you right now. So beginning with number one, we're going to do what we call left foot is going to be anchored. So left foot, and we're going to do frontal plane hold. So basically what that means, left foot is anchored. Our right leg is going to go out slow, hold it, and then we're going to bring it right back in. We're going to go out and right back in, okay? Holding it for a brief period of time before you bring that foot back in. Again, during the workout, go at the same speed that I'm going because we really want to focus on balancing. The second exercise is the exact same thing. Right foot is going to be anchored to the ground, foot flat, knee slightly bent. And we're going to take our left leg out and then bring it back in. Left leg is out and then back in. So we want to move the foot away, hold it, and then bring that foot back. So second exercise, is going to be right frontal plane holds. Exercise number three, we're moving in the sagittal plane. Remember the sagittal plane divides our body from left side to right side. We're gonna have our left foot anchored under the ground and we're gonna bring our right knee up and then we're gonna rotate that foot right back behind, hold it, bring that right knee up. So we're balancing on our left leg, taking our right leg through that sagittal plane, good. The fourth exercise, you got it, same thing, opposite side, right foot is planted or anchored onto the ground. We bring our left leg up, left knee up, and push that back, hold it, and then rotate that knee right back up. Right back, and then bring that knee straight up and hold it. Exercise number five, left foot's gonna be anchored, we're going to do transverse plane holds. Remember, transverse uh, plays a role in rotation. So we're going to take that right foot, bring that foot across our left knee, and we're going to bring it back, hold it, and then rotate that foot right back around. So back and hold, and then slowly bringing it forward and holding it. And then the sixth and the final exercise will be the same thing. The right leg is anchored this time. Foot flat, knee slightly bent. Left foot is uh, over the right knee. And we're gonna rotate that leg back. And then if you lose your balance, just put your foot on the floor. So we're here, we're gonna rotate back. And then bring that back across, rotating around. Good, so those are the six exercises. As I mentioned earlier, please follow along and go at the same speed that I'm doing. We really wanna focus on balancing and correct form. Also, before we start the workout, make sure you're wearing the proper clothes and you have enough space around you so that you can perform the exercises safely. Before we begin the workout, let's go through a quick warm up, beginning with some jumping jacks. Ready, and go. Knees slightly bent, heels are up. Take those arms. As we do a jumping jack, that jumping jack will help increase your heart rate. And we are moving right now in the 
frontal plane as we do these jumping jacks. Good. From here, we're going to go into some squats. Squat down and come back up tall. Push your hips back, bottom down. Breathe in, going down, and breathe out, coming up. Good. There we go. Good job. Breathe in and out. From here, we're going to go into some skaters. Push off. Go faster. Provide balance and stability. You can tap that back into the ground. As soon as your feet hit the ground, you want to come right back up. Good. And we'll finish with some high knees. Pull those knees up high, arms bent, elbows to your side. Rotating those arms at the shoulder. Good. In four, three, two, and one. Hey, now that we've done our warm up, we've gone over the six exercises, let's go ahead and begin the workout. Remember, three rounds total, six exercises per round, 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Let's go. All right, we're gonna begin round number one, left frontal plane hold. So left foot is anchored to the ground, right leg is off, ready, and Begin. Take that right foot out, hold it, and then slowly bring it back. Try to keep the right leg off the floor. Out, hold it, bringing it back in. Good. Foot flat, knee slightly bent, nose over toes. And stop. Good job. 20 seconds off. We're doing the same thing, opposite foot. Right leg is going to be. On the ground, knees slightly bent, try to keep your nose over your toes. Left leg is gonna come out, hold it, and then bring it back in. Again, go at the same speed as I'm going. Ready? Go. So out, and bring it back in. Out, and in. Slow, and control. Quality reps. You probably notice when you're doing this that one leg has better balance, one leg not so much. Typically we have a dominant side, non-dominant side, so it's really important we focus on both sides of our body. Next one, left sagittal. Left foot anchored, going back and forth. Ready? Go. Knee up. Slowly take that foot back behind you. Rotate. Right back up. Right knee high. Same thing, opposite side. Right foot is on the floor, left leg is off the ground. Knee is going to start up front, going to rotate that foot back, maintain proper balance. So here we go. Ready and begin. Take it back, slow, right back up. Bring it back. We've got two more exercises here in round number one. Left foot is going to be anchored. Start with that right foot across your knee. Remember, slowly we're going to rotate back and around. We call this transverse, the rotational part of it. So here we go. Ready? Go. Rotate that foot behind. Hold it. One more exercise here in round number one. Same thing. Opposite side. Right foot is anchored. Left foot's going to come up over that knee. And we're going to slowly rotate that left foot around our left or our right leg. Ready? Go. So back around. Slowly bring that foot across. Come back. Pause. Hey, 
great job. We've just done one, one round. Take a brief moment of time, grab some water, and we're gonna start with round number two. All right, round number two, we're going right back to the top. Left foot planted, we're going frontal plane holds. Left foot down, we're gonna take this right leg out and back in. So here we go, ready? Begin. Out, hold it, and then bring that foot back in. Left foot is flat, left knee slightly bent. Good. You can go at the same speed that I'm going. Follow along with me. Back in. Time. Good job. 20 seconds off. We're going to do the same thing. Right foot. Right foot planted. Right knee slightly bent. We're going to push that hip slight back so that our nose is just in front of our toes, helping with a good base support improving our balance. So here we go. Ready? And go. Out. Right hand foot back in. Out. And back. Good. Slow. And back. Time. Good job. Two down. Four more to go here in round number two. We're going to the sagittal plane. Remember the sagittal plane divides our body from left side to right side. So here we go, left foot anchored, right knee up, ready, and go. Push that foot straight back, rotate forward, hold it, and rotate right back up. Excellent job. Same thing, opposite side. Right foot on the ground. Again, let's be intentional. Focus on how does the body feel when you're on that leg. The foot is flat, knee bent, nose over your toes, slowly control. So here we go. Ready? Go. Back. Two exercises left here in round number two. Going back to transverse, remember transverse is rotational. So we're gonna have our left foot on the ground. Good base support. Our right foot is going to be over our left knee and we're gonna rotate around. So here we go, ready? Go. Start across, reach back and around. seconds here round number two we're taking that right foot plank that right foot on the ground bring that left foot up and over and we're going to rotate back and coming up and across right transverse plane holds ready go rotate back hold it slow Got two rounds down, one round to go. Grab a quick drink of water and we will get started on round number three. Last round, round number three, left foot anchor. We're doing frontal plane hold. Ready? Go. Right leg extended out, side, bring it back in. Slow. Excellent. Same thing, opposite foot, right foot down, right foot is flat, right knee slightly bent. Push that right hip back, get your nose slightly over your toes. Here we go. Ready? 
and go. Out, hold it, bring it back in. Out, back in. Good job. Also, I would do this so you're not holding your breath. Good breathing in, breathing out. Time. Good. Moving into the sagittal plane. So frontal plane, divide your body from front to back. Sagittal, remember, divide your body from left to right, right to left. Left foot is anchored to the floor, bringing that right knee up, rotating that foot back. Ready? Go. Slowly push that foot back, straight back behind you. Bring it right back up, bring that knee high. Back. job. Halfway through the third and the final round. Remember, you can always go back when this workout's over and do these rounds again if you want to practice more and do more rounds. Right foot anchored to the ground. Left knee's going to be up. Left sagittal plane holds. Ready? Go. Rotate back. Last two exercises, we're going transverse, rotational, left foot is anchored, right foot's going to come up over at the front, left leg, and then back around. Remember, balance is extremely important, so it's very critical that we do this correctly. So here we go. Go. Last two exercises. seconds of the workout. Right foot is anchored. Left leg is going to be rotating around this right leg. Last 20 seconds. Foot flat knee bent. Bring that left foot over and go. Slow. Hold it. enjoyed this workout focused on balance. Remember, balance is your ability to remain upright or on your feet while your body is moving or your body is not moving. It's extremely important in your success in sports and other physical activities that you may be interested in. I hope you enjoyed this workout and I can't wait to see you all at the next workout. Take care.